Uh, I feel a little hungry. Let me see how much. Huh. Only $15, uh, half of my wallet, right? Ooh, what's up, Trinbago Vibe peeps? Welcome to another episode of Trinbago Vibes. In this one, well, I guess we're doing a cheap eat. Volume 4. Wow, we still have a, f a good bit of cheap eat here in 2024. So, yeah, in this one, anything $15, TT and under, we are going to check out. And yeah, as I'm driving along this road here, this is the San Francisco Road, so we down south. I saw a $15 roti shop. So, you know, your boy had to pull in and get this $15 roti. Can't go wrong with this. Let me show you the chicken roti. Yeah, I'll show you all the inside. So, we get, you know, potato. We get one, two, three, four pieces of chicken. This looks like almost boneless chicken, I should say. This is not bad though. And look at the size of the roti, you know? Look at that. Oh boy, that curry tasting amazing already. So that is Nadia's on San Francisco Road. They open every day except Sundays and occasionally when they have an emergency, that is the only time they're closed. But basically they open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And dread like $15. For this, I don't think you could go wrong with this at all. Like the roti itself, it's not as soft as I would like it, but the filling inside, the curry inside, the chicken inside, very tasty. You know, season well, you get a hit of curry. So, this is the first stop. Now, there's right here in San Francisco. Yeah, Trinbago vibes. First roti shop. And let me see what other cheap eats we could find. Next stop is along the Naparima Mayara Road, you know, to Mel's Trini style. It's in St. Julian, Princess Town. And yeah, it's adult pre chicken roti we're eating in this one. You can also call ahead or to place an order. By the way, this is the first time I'm trying this chicken roti in these spots that we're visiting in this one. And you see the size of that $15 roti? Wow, to me, that just win. Chicken roti number two. Ooh, and this roti real hot, eh? Real hot. It wrapped real good. Ah. Yeah, there we go. But look at that thread. Wow. 15 TT dollars. All right, let's wrap this up and, and take a bite. And this, this roti already feeling like so. It done crumbling already, you know? Even before I take the first bite. Yeah, boy. And the curry on point, the meat itself, well, you know, it is tender. And season well, the potato mm, is nice and soft, along with the roti itself. $15 Mel's Trini style, right here, Princess Town, kind of. On the Napoli Mamiya Road. Honestly, you can't go wrong with this at all. And yeah, you, you'll see, you know, I clean up a little bit from the first stop we was in. So we hit San Francisco first, now we're in Princess Town. Let's see where the next spot is. Trinbago vibes. Cara Cara Road, Brian's Food Court. <laughs> I can't believe they have a $20 duck and goat roti as well. We'll have to tap back one of these days to try it. Cause now we just go in for that $15 chicken roti. Alright. So this is brands. You know their mini roti $15. Ooh. Two pieces of chicken. Some potato curry and the roti itself. I look real good. <laughs> Right here in Karakara. Now all this is south. This is like if you're heading towards Tavakit. So that you now come from Williamsville and you're like you're heading Tavakit side. Alright now let's try to you know eat this roti. The roti itself is a decent roti. And the curry is decent as well. Alright, so so far for me on this, you know, cheap eats roti hopping. So far the best tasting rotis is Mel's first, then the Nadia's in San Francisco, and then Two places brands food court. The roti was alright, but yeah. So that is the ranking so far from what I've tasted, what I've tried, and well, of course, each one of these rotis, chicken rotis, is 
15 TT. So let's see how the rankings would be at the end of this video. So don't forget to hit the like button as we make our way to the fourth spot. And stick around till the end to see the final rankings in this one. Huh. <sighs> Always traffic to get into Price Plaza. Well, the second roundabout, you know. But our fourth chicken roti spot is taking us into Endeavor. Well, along the Endeavor Road. And we saw this on the newspapers and it's like wow a ten dollars roti spot must go and check it out you know so we in endeavor right now are looking for leelas so you make this s here and it's five buildings down from the corner on the left hand side yeah right here and trust me you could pass this spot real easy so that is mp banana mohit currently an empty lot right here it's leelas home style flavors so let me show you all this is ten dollars chicken and chips you know i got a leg and fries look at that i mean i could have gotten you know a, a breast if i wanted to but i know that's like a leg you know quicker cut fries can't go wrong with this and this chicken looking home style chicken So don't worry, we also got a $10 chicken roti because that is what we came here for. This is real home style fried chicken. It's seasoned well. It is tender and nice. It reminds me of when my mom used to make fried chicken, you know, back home. So definitely home style suits this. All right, before I continue with this, right, the main thing here, is $10 chicken roti. Now, the last time we got $10 chicken roti was in San Fernando opposite the market, you know, beyond BJ's. And now let me show you all this $10 chicken roti. It's a mini roti, they have $10, they are $20. Also, in the fried chicken, you can get $20 with a two piece and fries. $20, you can't go wrong with that price at all. So this is what a ten dollars chicken roti looks like yeah from Lila's not bad though you get like some decent pieces of chicken a little you know potato and you know the curry sauce in this nice kind of mini roti kind of thing by the way right for those of you who don't know when we say roti uh, or chicken roti we are referring to a dal pre roti with some piece of chicken aloo potato aka potato wrapped right so yeah dal pre Roti. So let's bite into this. I mean, for this price, they can't go wrong with this at all. The roti itself is, is okay, right? It's decent. The chicken, once again, is seasoned well. Overall, that wasn't bad at all. Lila's home style, you know, flavors. The $10 chicken roti and the chicken and chips, yeah, that's value for your money. All right, one more stop. We heading down south again along the Guaracara Tabakit Road in Williamsville. You know this green shop right here. I saw they have a sign. $12 chicken roti at Shiraz Minimart. You know it's always been interesting to find these little hidden spots. We got a $12 roti from Shiraz Minimart right in Echoes Village, Williamsville. Williamsville, more Williamsville just before the Masjid on Hill. So yeah. Right on a bin, $12 chicken roti. Look at that, people. Yeah. So you've got a wing and some other pieces and yeah, 12 TT dollars. Curry chicken roti. So this is our fifth and final stop we were we were all over we was actually along this road high up the road right i didn't realize how i missed this one on the way down mm. roti is nice it kind of soft in the side and a little slight crunchy on the outside which very interesting the potato and this chicken 
real juicy and tender and flavorful Shiraz Mini Mart here in Williamsville. So as I finish this, I will just tell you the ranking for me, at least in this whole video. And when I mean ranking, I'm talking about flavors. Price point, this is second, obviously. The loss is first $10, you can't go wrong with that $10 roti. But this win for $12 chicken roti. The others were 15 TT. But in terms of flavor, I will still rank Mel's, then this one, Shiraz, Nadia's, then Lila's, then Brian's. That is my ranking in terms of flavor in this one. So hope you all enjoyed this cheap eats chicken roti, $15 and under chicken roti episode. Big shout out to Shirley, you know, my Patreon member who basically sponsored this entire video. So shout out Shirley. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon. And if you wish to join my Patreon and help support the channel, I'll leave a link of it in the description below. You know, feel free to join. We have some exclusive content, some extra content, behind the scenes content on the Patreon. So check that one out if you can. All right. So I'm going to finish up this and I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, go on later. It's really be interesting where you could find like this driving on the road and this being observant on the sides eh? because I passed this the first time I passed there and it's only because I'm heading towards you know the the black man family ranch that I saw this and it's like oh I have to stop and you know try this yeah link in the description if you haven't seen that one yet all right later